does in here. Then I'm going to explain to you the theory that numbers have an end. So in, so in modern day, maybe a few years ago, Muhammad Ababu has had it has had has understood the theory that numbers have an end. He's the fir he's not maybe not the first person to do so, but he is the first to to want to spread this, and who knows math and science. It's a simple matter of mind and logic to know that numbers have an end. In the beginning, there was time, and someone started counting. The time continues and does not return. It does not. I mean, the time ends and does not return. So, therefore, numbers have an end. It's a simple matter of mind and logic. For example, at the beginning, someone started counting, and then they reached some number. That's the biggest number. There's no, there's no smaller numbers after that. You can't just, like, have a smaller number after all that. This is a matter of mind and logic. If you if you understand this, then you're pretty much set in life. So yeah, and n if you think that numbers, the idea that numbers have it, have no end is um, it's extremely detrimental to math and science. For example, there's a lot of like people who just don't believe in science. Would be doing much better if they did if they weren't so confused. If they knew numbers had. they knew that numbers had no end, then they would be doing much better in life. For example, anti-vaxxers, they think that numbers have an end. Um, I mean, no, have no end, right? If they thought they ha had an end, then they'd be doing much better. Anti-vaxxers think that numbers have no end. Um, who else? Uh, flat earthers think that numbers have no end. That's why they can think the earth can be flat, because, you know, flat... Uh, they, they think the earth has an end, but they don't think numbers have an end, which... I mean, it's kind of self-contradictory if you think about it. I'm not sure where they, how they think that's okay. Like, let's talk about cognitive dissonance, right? Uh, what else? Well, their numbers have. Oh, wait, numbers have an end, and um. Oh, so if you look at these diagrams, where are? So, like this, these diagrams, they clearly. I think this is the best. This one was explained to me the best. Like, so you see, here's count started counting, and then the time passed, and it's now. So that means that at some point, like that's that's where some that's where people started counting. I, I and mean, that's where that's where the person got when they when they were counting. Like that that's that's as high as you can go if you say that numbers. That's the, that's the biggest number. There is a biggest number, and it's the it's just the highest number anyone has counted to. Or even even better, you can say it's the highest number you've counted to if you really if you really wanna wanna be special there. Well, I mean, because you can do it either way, but the point is that they have an end. We call this number a Babu's constant, so we write a b um, right there, like a b. And you know, Abu's, it, it, we call it constant. I mean, in in a specific point of time, it's constant, but it actually changes as time passes. Now it might not change a lot, or it might not change every every moment, but it does change whenever someone counts to a higher number. So, like for example, like they have computers testing the twin primes conjecture, which, by the way, is true because they've tested every number, and they haven't found a counterexample. Now, I, I, however, that that machine keeps counting up, so so that that that's probably our best bet for the high for finding the highest number. Actually, no, I don't think that machine actually counts, so I don't, it's like not even working with actual numbers anyone's counted to. It really doesn't make sense. Anyway, so I guess maybe the census would be the best, because I'm pretty sure they count those one by one, and that, 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 that that's out of count. But I mean, really, like, I'm being a little bit facetious here, because, like, even if you, well, these, even if you think that numbers have an end, I mean, even if even if you like say something strongly like counting, say like any any way of going of having numbers go up, eventually they reach the highest one, and that's just a fact. So 
is unacceptable. Like if you thinking numbers has an end is un, ha, have have no end is unacceptable. Like those those people are just completely wrong. I don't know what they're talking about. And again, it's just really bad for science. Like we have flat. I, I talked about the flatters and the oh yeah, we're about climate change deniers. They think numbers have no end. It, it it's it goes hand in hand with their philosophy. But if you, I mean, we just really we ought to. The world be such a, so much of a better place. And thank you, Muhammad Ababu, for 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 explaining this matter of mind and logic to the world. So that we all know that numbers have an end. And if you don't, if you're not convinced, well, I have a like. Message him on Facebook. There's a Facebook group called Numbers Have an End. Muhammad Ababu will explain it to you. And yeah, that's it. All right. So see you guys next video. Video game doesn't. Numbers have an end.